While Californians have indeed cut back on water consumption during the drought, more effort is needed. A potential solution to the ongoing problem is bringing water from toilets to tables. Normally flushed into rivers or the ocean after a basic treatment, this water can be 100% recycled. This purifying station is capable of transforming sewer water into drinkable water in less than 24 hours. As California continues to dry up, the still secret technology used in this process could become essential. When the drought came and over the last five years and with the mandatory cutbacks on potable water, water supplies like this that are independent of the hydrologic cycle are very important. So no matter whether it rains or not, uh, we will always have this supply available to our customers. The purifying station uses a three-step process. First, microscopic filters remove larger particles. Next, a type of reverse osmosis rids the water of viruses, bacteria, and salt minerals. Finally, the water undergoes a UV treatment to eliminate anything that may have remained after the first two steps. The result is a water sample so pure that extra minerals need to be added back in before consumption. A reverse osmosis strips so much of the salt out, we have to add a little salt in. So we're trying it after the, um, the lime is added, as well as the chlorine. But it's definitely the, uh, the best tasting water I've had. Even if recycled water is technically proven pure, many Americans have trouble stomaching the concept of drinking water that may have passed through their neighbor's toilets. The company hopes some simple science will change that image. Every water molecule on this planet is the same water molecules that have been here for 4.5 billion years. Every water molecule has been through humans, animals, etc. The process is so good that it makes coming up the, the system water that's equal to or better than bottled water. Better than bottled water and a thousand times less expensive, recycled water could help California quench its thirst.